All right, what is going on everyone and welcome to the incredible adventures of Van Helsing 1. My name is John and I'll be your host for this let's play, playthrough, walkthrough, whatever you guys want to call it. So I do have both the second and third Van Helsing game on my channel, both completed let's plays. I do have Death Trap as well, so if you want to click the annotations over here, um, you can watch the third and Death Trap. So pretty much all the entire series I have on my channel except for the first one which we'll be covering today and honestly I thought the first one was the best one in terms of like storyline and gameplay after that kind of just went downhill but um the final cut edition is coming out in September essentially that's like the remastered one where it's all three games bundled into into one of them and I might do a video on that later on but for essentially I just want to have all three Van Helsing games uh, completed on my channel so that's a let's play of this and um, yeah so for all of you who may imagine this is on PC only so for all of you PC players who would like to check out the options menu here is what it is this is essentially an RPG game so a lot of these options are kind of necessary um, I would definitely turn some of these off by default auto equipped is not good to have and uh, some of the stuff you might want to tweak the audio is pretty good adjusted um, we will be playing on the ultra settings or very high whatever max thing and you could play this with the controller or but I'll just be using a keyboard and mouse because that one's the easiest to do and yeah so we're gonna start up a new game and it's been a while since I played this actually Believe it or not, when I played this a long time ago, it was back in 2013, so over two years ago. And that's nuts. So we're going to be playing a new character and starting a whole new story. So if you are going to enjoy it, be sure to give the video a like. And hope you guys will enjoy the series. So I try to keep quiet during the cutscenes so you guys can enjoy it as much as I do. I also do have um, the entire thing or all the DLC as well. So if you guys are going to enjoy it as well. Feel free to let me know and I will try to do the DLC as much as possible. So, as always, uh, the ma the mechanic and mage one are they're generally weaker characters, so I like to choosing the hunter. And yeah, it's, uh, that's our name. Alright, let's start up a new character. And let's start up the story. So. Before we start, I just want to say that uh, if you want to check out the second or third Van Helsing Let's Play on my channel, those are already completed, or Death Trap, as well. This one is just uh, like a tower defense game, uh, mini game essentially in this one, but they made it into a full game. So if you want to check that out, feel free to go ahead and yeah, let's start with the story. It all began with a call for help. A letter from Borgovia addressed to Van Helsing, the great monster slayer my father. He doesn't take cases anymore, but I am a hunter too. So I set off on a journey with Lady Katarina, my remarkable companion. I'm an expert on the supernatural, and I seem to be drawn to it. Occasionally events get out of control, and then we have to leave in quite a hurry. Sometimes it's Katarina's fault. She can be quite reckless at times. Still, she always helps me save the day. And she also happens to be a ghost. My father rescued her from Borgovia, and she has been bound to serve our family ever since. Katerina often complains about it, but I think she really likes the thrill of the adventure. She is a charming soul, but she also has a darker side. Good, it comes in helpful when I'm in danger. Somewhere along the way, we slowly learned to work together. And finally, in the cold rain of Venice, we became a team. The last leg of the journey was by sea. Apart from the Kraken, the pirates, and the storms, it was mostly uneventful. I had time to ponder my mission. Once, Borgovia was a dark place where monsters lived. Long ago, my father defeated the immortal kings, created a peace treaty, and entrusted the land to some enlightened individuals. What could have happened there? What could be even more frightening than the reign of monsters? The closer we drew to Borgovia, the more confusing the rumors became. The land behind the Thunderhead Mountains was wrapped in mystery. As our carriage approached the mountain pass, 
I had a sense of foreboding. It didn't really surprise me when I heard an explosion. The adventure has just begun. That was really loud. I apologize. I will lower the audio immediately. But yeah, overall, this game is pretty interesting. They are just some ragged outlaws. See, it wasn't that difficult, was it? So this is how they welcome folk around here. All right. Yes. Let's hold Why? on. It is an ancient and venerable tradition. Inventory is full. All right, we're good. So bear with me. I haven't played this game since the third one, which was a while back. So um, I'll try to explain everything as I go. But um, yeah, give me a few minutes to try to get used to this game again. But as you may imagine, it's like an RPG game. And uh, there's more customization with this one because you can use your weapon and your pistol. So um, that's pretty good. And the other one is like you are very limited to what you can use. More rage. I don't remember what I used the first time. Like uh, before, like in the later games, you can you're only like uh, allowed to use a pistol, or it depends on what your character. Now you can like switch it up, which I don't know why they even made that. Um, it's kind of weird. It's like they're taking away gameplay. Oh my. Well, that escalated that quickly. Was stupid. I'm impressed actually. They do have a sense of theatrics. We could still fly over the chasm. Really? Oh, right. Uh, sometimes I forget how human you are. We should follow the normal pathway there. <laughs> Alrighty, we got this. So the game usually starts picking up once you get to the central hub area, which is in about like five or so minutes. Uh, we just have to get out of here, essentially. And uh, we're level two now, we can equip new stuff. So essentially right now we don't have that many skills, we only have our primary, um, that one. alive trying to figure out how to switch up to my weapon again I don't remember um, as a melee range character essentially what I want is hit points and dexterity for the most part and then willpower is for mages and luck just uh, it's kind of for everything but for the most part we want body and dexterity Oh no, it's kind of hard to determine. I guess I'll go with this one. Just because I want to see more melee. Hmm. Alright, so we have a lot of skill trees, which is pretty interesting. Um, essentially, I guess what I would want first is to pump some points into here. And I can only do one for now. And then the next one is three. The healing ability is actually really good. We're going to need that a little bit later. So let's put all of them in there. And let's see, hold on. I don't remember how to like switch everything. Do I just drag and drop? One second as I try to... Let me see, the switch one. Swap weapon. Okay, it's R. Got it, we're on track now. But uh, for this first episode, I just want you guys to let me know how the audio is. Is it too loud, is it too quiet? You can always adjust it in the future, I just need your feedback, so that's always good. And uh, one thing that's unique is Katarina, you can um, customize it to whether you want her to be passive and give you like stat bonuses. 
or do you want her to help attack with you? Um, you could also send her to get potions and whatnot. So it's kind of like a multi-use companion. As for gold, it's not really too important in this game. You're gonna need it, but it's not like you nearly need a lot of it. You can beat this game pretty much just finding gear on your own. She's got baited so hard. All right, do I even have boots? Let's see. I do. They're exactly the same. You could also give her armor as well. Look, a domovoy with a bag full of treasure. Oh no. This might actually be bad. My melee is Ooh. Some healing potions would be nice. All right, let's not use our weapon sword anymore. I think range is generally a better choice. Alrighty. So amulet is good, ring is good, always good to have. We gotta level up. Um, we're gonna want some more points into here. Melee. Not sure. Bonus to critical. No, these aren't really too important. The important ones are like later on. And we have a point we should probably save. Perks are important. They give you one every so like so many levels. And they just give you a huge bonus to like pick wisely. Hmm. You can get a second chance once every three minutes. Uh, Collector is also pretty good, but I kind of want this one just because it's like the best one of the choice. Alright, so we're good. Kill the stranger. This is why range is just so much better than melee. You can just... I think I gotta rebind another key real quick. It's uh, like holding precision while firing. So I don't actually have to be really accurate with lock ons. Don't think I actually need white items. Alright. One more thing I do apologize. Where is it? I'm looking for the thing where you stand still, hold position. We're gonna put that on, is there anything on shift or space? Load power up preset. The fuck? All right, we're good. So I think once you take this, uh, more stuff comes out to ambush us. Swallow us whole and spit out my bones. And still no sign of a decent thing. Why would you need an inn? You're a ghost. So I'm supposed to spend the rest of my nights among the trees like a peasant girl who got lost in the woods. I'd love the idea. All right, so she actually has skill points too. Um, putting health and generally luck for her is good. At least that's how I did it in the first time and it worked out really well. You'll be fine. I think you have actual skill points too. Uh, I should probably set this now rather than later. Um, to attack enemies at range. These give you passive stuff for your Van Helsing specifically. So you want defense and uh, Paralyze, I guess, is pretty good, but I kind of want more defense. 
Stop right there. Easy, lad. We're friends here. They all say that, but I won't let in any dangerous fiends on my watch. No, sir. How dare you? I'm going to tear you apart, and then I'll teach you some manners. No, I, I didn't mean you, my lady. The undead nobility of Borgova are always welcome to haunt here, but you, with the Van Helsing hat, we don't like your sword here, with your weapons and bad manners. I am a monster hunter. Of course you are, or you are just a troublemaker. Oh, you don't have to worry about my uh, servant. I keep him on a short leash. Katarina. Thank you, my lady. You can pass, and you're manservant too. We'll talk about this later. Fine. Don't even thank me. We're in. Alright, so pretty much this is our main hub area. And this is where you travel places and everything. What is that? You didn't recognize it? That's the ink. The dark material of creation and dreams. But that's a myth. Borgovia is the only place where the ink leaks through the cracks of the world. So you can enter the ink here? Yes, and then you can travel below or behind this world and appear at certain places. That's the ink walk. Oh, you mean teleport. That is such a cliched word. All right, so I think we just have to talk to a lot of people here before we actually get going on our first mission. Welcome, stranger, my lady. And a good day to you. We must get to Borgova. The bridge has collapsed. Then you need to talk to the village mayor, who knows the pathway through the forest. And where do I find him? He went out to investigate a wagon that got lost on the forest road with some valuables. He hasn't returned yet. It's never that easy, my dear Van Helsing. Level up, hype! Alright, so we want more of this. I think we have three skill points now as well, so we're gonna... Um... I do want a secondary ability. I just don't know. Increases your max rage value. Explosive shot or lightning. Not sure exactly what I want. I do want this one a little bit later. Minimum level 14. Explosive shot seems pretty good. I do think this is only single target though and of course always get this one to level 10 as fast as possible because this is essentially your self heal and this is our storage whoa apparently stuff carries over from my other playthrough uh i don't know i guess I guess to speed things up, essentially, we'll do that. A proper hunter, at last! And suddenly someone appreciates me. Bah! They all forgot that monsters are dangerous! That's what peace does to you! Is there anyone who can tell me more about Borgova? Talk to the alchemist, if you can! But the Romany travelers put a curse on him, so he can't speak anymore! Oh, they love curses. It's nice to see that they are sticking to tradition. Katerina, please. How can I help that poor man? Go to the Romany tribe and ask them to remove the curse. Okay then. So this is where you essentially upgrade your weapons. It's the forge. Uh, this is a shop where I'm just going to sell my stuff real quick. Um, Let's see, before we do anything, is there anything of importance? Nope. Yeah, well, we could always pick some stuff up later. And you see on the map right there, the glowing beam thingy? Uh, that's how you know it's your objective. So we're gonna go out there. And this pretty much just lets you know all the areas you discovered. I think if you fast travel, it just shows you a map. And that's pretty unique. Yeah. 
So I'll try to do my best to like actually get uh, side objectives done as well. Just so we could level up and I won't be underpowered because I think later on, like midway through the game, the uh, difficulty spike actually goes up a lot. So we don't want to be under leveled. Chest up there. I must have it. Take me there. Questionable worth. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of guards later on. <laughs> so, like, watching my health bar is very important. This is why you need a lot of armor early on in the game. Oh, a gruesome puzzle. Let me see. The wagon was attacked by the soldiers. And werewolves. No, the distribution of the paw prints is all wrong. They just rushed in and out. Did you just say distribution? And this track here? Is deeper. The beast was carrying someone. I'm impressed. As you should be. Right. Let's go find us a werewolf lair. Werewolf lair? Alright, so she leveled up. Um, let's see, what level? Four is our next level that we get a lot of bonus abilities. So, we still want armor just because it's good. And... We have one skill point left, which we'll save for later. This is why range is just so much better than melee. God, that hurts. I think that's actually a boss. Oh, there's a boss there. Oh, there. Yeah, it's yellow. You can see by the color of their name is the difficulty of the enemy. I need healing. This really isn't that good for our AOE abilities, but we'll be okay. Get out of the circle. And what's unique is you can actually combo your skills a little bit later once you get more skill points. You can see above the um, like the gun skill or my current skills that are out. Uh, you can click like one, two, three, and get extra bonuses. So or like. Uh, other things so like S. If you max it out, you get other stuff. Dang, we need to be level five. Are we like under leveled already in the first area? Now yeah, we'll be fine. We just have to like, this one is more of a grind, not really grind, but just like, it's harder to level than the other Van Helsings in the future games. But I still thought this one was actually one of the better ones. Alright, so that was a dead end. There's a quest over there that we should probably pick up. Do we really have to go all the way around? Oh, I thought that was alive, it just looked like it was. So let's, uh, the shrine's only limited time, so you might as well, like, start stuff first before you hit them. At last, someone with proper weapons. Get me out of this unholy forest alive, and I will be grateful. I'm afraid I can't do that. My path leads me straight to the heart of darkness. Hmm, right. Uh, to the darkness, then. 
Could you at least escort me to the Romany camp? I could do that, yes. I like how we're just escorting one dude instead of like his whole uh, army. Oh, a sacred altar. Maybe we shouldn't go too close. You don't have to worry. You're bound to me. Sacred places only affect wandering ghosts. Can I has? How do I pick it up? Never mind then. Alright, so our objective is like all the way down there. Let's go do that one. There's so many trees. Level up hype. Trust me, it's not as fast later on at level four. Wait, hold on. We want at least one point into that. We want to put some points in there as well. These are pretty good. All the passives are solid. I don't know, but I want... Oh god, there's blue ones. One at a time, focus. I'll require like level six. 